Hey, Monkey Friends, Kiro Style here. Welcome back to Astrobot. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Now, this video is not being streamed. I decided to do this as an offline video, so it'll be YouTube exclusive. Mostly because the only thing we have left to do in this game is the ultimate challenge, which I don't really know how difficult it's going to be. This could be either really quick or really short. I'm not really sure. So let's go in. So, to unlock the ultimate challenge, you need to get all the puzzle pieces in the game and 300 bots. Which, normally 300 bots would be all the bots in the game, but if you have to carry over bots from Astro's Playroom, then your total is 304. So I went around to all the different galaxies and got all the pieces I was missing. It actually didn't really take me that long. It took me maybe three, three and a half hours, and I was kind of doing it casually. I probably could have done it a little bit faster. But it was still fun just revisiting the levels and just seeing like what was up. And revisiting like mechanics and stuff that I hadn't done in a while since some stages had mechanics that you only really saw once. So now we can go back to the crash site. So all, all the bots I got were just regular bots, because we got all the VIP ones already. And then we got all the puzzle pieces. Oh look, the, the statue has all the little... ...animal friends you made. That was the very last puzzle piece, well done! Looks like a special friend awaits you at the top. I also learned that if you, if you gather everyone... And then if you press the down button on your D-pad, you can dance. And then everyone else will dance too, and you get an achievement if you do it with over 100 bots. Why is my camera blurring out? You guys can go back to your stations. So one of the puzzle pieces I was missing was actually in the crash site. And what you do is you need to unlock these bowling pins from the gacha, and then you need to hit this bowling ball and get a strike. It actually took me quite a few tries to get it, but there's a puzzle piece hidden there. I was also replaying the, the God of War stage, and I realized in the musical track, they actually say, BOY! <laughs> in like a robot voice as part of this track, that's actually hilarious. I also learned that if you climb up here, there's a few things you can do. If you climb up here, it brings you to the the top of the PS5, which you get an achievement for getting to the top. I'm actually going to save that achievement for last. I, I kind of want to platinum the game, but there's a few trophies I need to do first. And if you go here, and you just wait a few seconds, they'll start singing. You can only do this after they, after you beat Nebulax. I like how each of these parts of the CPU or the PS5 are arcing back to areas of Astro's Playroom, which are obviously all actual computer parts. So we can also get the rest of the gacha. I'm pretty sure I have enough coins for that, but we're gonna save that for later. I like how Laura Croft's just getting chased by a dinosaur. There's also an achievement you get if you take a photo, because you can switch to photo mode anytime. If you get a photo with Laura Croft and Nathan Drake in the same photo, it's like two, ex two famous explorers meeting for the first time. I'll have to do that later though. I don't want to do that now. Okay, so for this, you have the statue, you need 300 bots. So that's. Almost everyone. 
Also, you, you get an achievement if you knock down a tower of bots. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You also get an achievement if you knock over a tower of bots, but you... But they don't fall over, which you could do over here. If you pick one of these and you knock one of these guys over, they keep it together. So there's a lot of like little achievements here. Like there's also an achievement for getting all the the ravens in the God of War level, and there's also an achievement for getting the three legendary eggs in the Nathan Drake Uncharted level, which I will also do later. Or for killing seven enemies on the Horizon Zero Dawn level without, uh, or killing them with only using the trip wires. I like how so four bots get left out, and it's just these four. Local Rokos. Well, I guess it's Local Rokos and Mimir. I got left out this time. I like how you can see some of them shaking and stuff too, and they're in like unique poses on the way up. Okay, so this is the ultimate challenge, and there's one VIP bot hidden behind here. Now, Cord, I watched a video on YouTube of someone doing it. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad, other than the fact it's a little bit long for a challenge level. So a challenge level also means, of course, that you can't save partway through. There's no checkpoints. If you die, you have to start over from the beginning. But it doesn't actually seem that technically difficult. A lot of people said the rubber ducky stage to the challenge was difficult. It was worse. And a lot of people said the sole bad guy, the one to the beat, the one that I got stuck on for like 30, 30 minutes, are actually the worst ones in the game. People seem divided on whether it's the rubber ducky one or the sole bad guy one, but... A lot of people say it's harder than the ultimate challenge, so I think I could do this. And of course we're gonna hear this music forever. Easy, right? Oh, come on. I thought that guy's spikes would not stay in. I thought I could punch him. But, like, overall, like, it looks like there's a lot of areas where you can stop and catch your breath, which I think was. People said the rubber ducky stage. That was the hardest thing. Was that, oh. Was that they just didn't have a spot to stop and catch their breath. Which. And it's a little bit of RNG, which is why they didn't like it. Oh, I moved. I didn't move far enough. It's gonna be like all these like little errors that's gonna trip me up. Just being sloppy. Dang it! I hate the glass floors! The glass floors are the worst. Because my, my natural instinct is, oh I see those little dudes, I need to char start charging up my fist. Which I also learned, if you charge up your fist and spin around, you could do it with a froggy fist too.
Oh, I should have done that. I was trying to skip the electric dude. I should have waited until after he shot again. It's so silly, like, even just like the regular enemies sometimes could be a pain in the butt. They're positioned in a way that's a little bit tricky. Oh, come on, you really hit me? I was like, should I go quickly or should I wait for him to, s to shoot first? At least they don't make you dodge that dude while dodging the bells, that would suck. Oh no, I, I didn't realize that there was a gap between the ice and the ramp. I thought I could just go for it. I forgot there was ice there, so I was waiting for the guy to shoot, but I was like, actually, that's a bad idea. It's like, I can't linger here because it's icy. Oh, come on. Maybe it is easier than- it looks a lot easier than this actually is. So I, I watched, again, a YouTube run through this and I was like, oh, that's- that doesn't look so bad. Because again, it's all mechanics we've seen before. Nothing new. More. Oh no, there's the. <laughs> Why is there a gap between that? Oh, I didn't think there was more of purple dudes. God damn it. But at least I feel like I'm making steady progress though. Thank goodness I could just stay here and kind of hang out for a little bit while that purple guy shoots at me when I take off the little bombs. Oh, come on! See, the worst part about this is that you need to... The blue ramp, just touching the blue does not give you the ability to wall run. You need to touch the base of it. But if I jump for it, then Astrobot does not... If I, if I don't hit the the bottom of the base, he doesn't run up the wall, he just gets stuck on it. Oh, I, I let go of my float too early. 
Again, it's like a lot of like little technical things here. What? I got hit by that? <laughs> Thank goodness that you can stand far enough away from the bird. If the platform was too small, that would suck. Oh, I didn't even... Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should go for the... The circle platform with the electric dude. I just don't want to risk jumping on him. I'm starting to hate the purple shooting dudes more. I still got hit by that end. <laughs> Should dodge backwards. Stupid purple slimes. Are you kidding me? I jumped on his head and bounced off. I hate that too about the purple dudes. Because the second they, the second their their mouth opens up and they start getting ready to shoot, I get scared. Even though I have time. I hate this dude. You can't. Do it's not easy to dodge him while you're also trying not to fall. Who would have thought a purple slime would be the bane of this level? Let's get- I can't juke him! Okay, he's not giving me enough time. I need to- I need to reset him. The timing's off. There we go. The thing I don't get about the, the spiky dudes is sometimes they don't... Sometimes they wait until they get right up in your face before spiking, and sometimes they spike right away. There we go. Oh no, not this dude. Oh, what am I up against now? Oh, Jesus. Oh no. 
Oh no, the purple dude! Hate purple dude! Oh, come on. See, like, I wish there was a checkpoint. Not, like, I understand it's for the difficulty's sake, right? But I feel like, maybe it's like if you die, like, X number of times, they should give you one for that point, because obviously I can make it there. And sometimes I make silly mistakes. Getting me today. Okay. That one's easy now. If I just if I just keep if I just go in swinging. Oh no! I didn't. I uh, I was too worried about the electric dude that I didn't. Jump! Well, that was really close. Should have waited. You need to go right away, otherwise, so he doesn't have time to rear up his spitball. Yeah, take that. Oh, there's an oh, there's another dude. I didn't think he would squish the the bouncy pad. God damn it! But oh, there's another purple dude after this. Ugh. I feel like I'm making steady progress, though. This music is gonna haunt me. Well, actually not. I've been listening to the soundtrack for this game lately. It's just such a delight. Catch my breath. Oh god. Oh god, that was close. Oh god, that guy always got me. Oh god, this looks awful. Okay, I can catch my breath, I can catch my breath. Okay, this next part kind of sucks. It's a bunch of those bird cannons. Oh god. They shot when I was that close? Oh! Oh, I did it! Oh my god, once I got past that halfway point, I was fine. It's the, the Onion Master from Parappa the Rapper. 
Also, I realized you could go- you could- I think if you- You could fling them up, like, in your controller like this. Lyrical Master? Kick Punch? It's all in the mind. Your triangles are showing. I like this outfit, it's cute. I'm gonna try it on. And then, ooh, a Generation 1 Dual Speeder. I love this musical theme too, the Astro Bot theme, but like the victory version. Okay, we that did not take as long as I thought. Oh my goodness, I thought it's a good thing I didn't make this a stream. <laughs> it would have been over so quickly. Oh, I automatically put on the outfit too. Oh, I'm so cute. I'm so cute and polygonal. Or polygonal. There, I have all the outfits now. This one's so funny too. You don't even have a face! I'm surprised they don't have like a... Like just different color variations of the normal one, like a green one or a red one for example. Okay, let's finish up with the gacha. Should be able to get everything now. Oh, the total is still 169. I thought it would go up to 170 after I got the onion dude. Does that mean he doesn't have one? And honestly, I haven't gotten too many of the empty pop cans. They're actually pretty good about not giving you too many useless things. Actually, I don't even see any empty pop cans inside the machine, so there must be like a finite number of them. Oh yeah, Raiden. Get that watermelon. Come on, Raiden, you can do it. He's just sizing it up. <laughs> the, the, the butt shake. It's the last one. Oh, cute. Does that mean I can't go back in there anymore? I just automatically exit whenever I come in here. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't expect to be 100%ing this game, but I guess here I am. So these are all the the bots, and then some of them I guess don't get special items. Actually, I'm surprised Ratchet doesn't. Well, I guess he comes with his own. But no, Kratos had to get his from the gacha machine, huh? Okay, I can understand some of the ones like the local Rokos or the Patapons or the all the apes. Are oh, you telling me Octodad doesn't have any? I guess he has his own special animation. Okay, this one's still. Oh, this is a Shiba. I was like, 
Where's the Onion Master? I thought this one was the missing one. I thought this was the Onion Master last stream. Wait, where is the Onion Master then? Is he just not... Well, oh, here he is. Oh, he comes with his own, like, back set. I don't need to roll it from the gacha. I see. Okay, so I am a few trophies away from the Platinum. So I have to go collect all the Ravens from the God of War level. I need to collect all the Golden Eggs from the... From the Uncharted area. And then I also need to kill seven things with tripwires in the Horizon Zero Dawn level. Then I'll come back here and there's a couple things like little Easter eggs you can do with some of these guys. Actually, where's Nathan Drake? Can I find Nathan Drake? I need to take a picture of him with Laura Croft, and Laura Croft is running around in circles around the middle, so. You know, I'll, I'll find him and then we'll we'll do it. Okay, so I found I found Nathan Drake. He's sitting here in the middle playing Crash Bandicoot. Does this count as getting them in the same picture? No, they're not close enough together. No. Okay. So what I can do is I can call them all together. Well, there they are. Perfect. They were close enough together that... Does this count? How do I zoom in and out? Does this count? How do I zoom? I can't zoom in and out on the camera. They're standing right there. Nathan's right there. Lara Croft's right there. And I, don't, I definitely did not... I don't think I got this trophy already. Unless I got it by accident, which I might have. I just noticed that, like, the God of War character is actually, like, taller than the rest of them. Okay, I'll figure this out. Okay, according to what I read is sometimes it doesn't register right away, sometimes you need to take it from multiple angles. And sometimes you might need to punch them together so that they get closer. Oh no, I punched him too far. But here he is. So Nathan's there. Where'd Laura go? No, she, Laura's here. There, they're right next to each other, come on. Is it because I'm standing too close to this thing? Like the PS5 is maybe getting in the way? Oh, there we go. Oh, I can move down. Oh, I thought I thought up and down just meant didn't mean zoom in and out. There we go. Okay. Okay, so there's one achievement for splashing the great tree in his face while he's trying to sing. There we go. What is he saying? Okay, there's another trophy here. This is like the construction site place, the first place we got the dog. Right after you get the dog, there's this room. And there's like a basket. You have to get a slam dunk. You have to break one of these crates, I believe. And there is a... Oh, I forgot. You have to break them with the dog. There should be a basketball around here. There we go. Yeah. Smooth. Okay, we're back on the 8th escape level. You have to go to the end here. And then one of these bushes has like a golden butterfly in it. And we have to catch the golden butterfly. 
I'm gonna catch this guy first. Well, there it is. That's a golden butterfly. Did I kill it by accident? I think I killed it by accident. I didn't think I need to do that again. Darn it. Oh no, okay, so the golden butterfly is here, so... so here... Where I just was... Butterfly's in here. Man, I wish I could sprint. I wonder if I can hit- I wonder if I can hit it off at the pass. I almost got it there. What if I go in the opposite direction from it? I mean, I, I, th I think I have to use the rail. Oh, I missed it! There we go! Oh yeah, so another cute thing I found out here in the God of War level. You can see this. So Kratos brought a PlayStation 1 for, for Atreus. <laughs> and it's like, game over. That's so cute. I also found out that once you flip the turtle over, you can actually flip him back. You just have to stand on the other side. I didn't realize that. I was trying to flip him from the same handle, which doesn't work. Okay, let's find the rest of those ravens. Okay, I'm missing one raven. Actually, coming into this level, I was only missing like three, so we actually got most of them. This one is hidden... right here. So now, if we go back... to the raven room... The music here is so good. It's so funny, now I can really hear whenever they go like, BOY! In the middle of the song. And somehow they- it, it fits right in. Despite being so ridiculous. I like how they've just embraced that as a meme. There we go, all the ravens. Okay, so there's like three golden eggs hidden on this uncharted level. So there's a plane up there. So down here, there's like a hidden platform. And you need to make all these things have the same expression, which is this one. The one with the lions. There's one. Actually, there's another puzzle like this I found when I was getting the puzzle pieces. Wait, was that the only egg I was missing? I guess the other ones I got naturally through the course of the, the level then. Lucky me. Over here, there were these faces, and you have to hit them all so they make the heart shape. And you need to do that to get this puzzle piece. So you gotta kill seven enemies with these trip wires on this level. Now, the electric enemies can pass through them, everyone else can't. So and you need to do this in one life, too. If you do this and you die, then it doesn't count. And also, if you fly over them with your laser, things, you'll cut the wires, so you need to watch out. So you need to get close enough to them that the enemies try to run through it. Come on, guys. I don't see anyone run through. Can't do this if I just... I, I gotta lure them over here. They don't seem to want to go through it. What if I, what if I jump over it? There we go, that's what I need. There we go. Okay, so for this next one, we need to take down two worms in the wormy passage level at the same time. I also learned see if you charge up your froggy fist and then spin, you could do this. It's pretty cool.
There we go. Now the next achievement is for getting all the slots on the casino slot machines, but we've already done that, so I, do, I can skip that one and move on to the next trophy. Okay, we're in the bubbling under level, and over here, in the big open area, there's a bunch of dolphins. And they're jumping through this hoop, so we want to jump through that hoop to get an achievement. We have to use our penguin thing. There we go. Easy. Okay, so this next trophy, we've actually seen a little tease of during the credits. If you have Kratos' gotcha item, he'll be sitting here carving. If you punch him, he'll hit you with his axe. And you get frozen. And then you gotta break out. But, if you hide behind Thor here, he hits Thor instead, and you get an achievement for that. It's pretty funny. Okay, for the next achievement, we need to get too close to the prince's sticky ball from Katamari. <laughs> Pretty cute. Okay, for this next one, we need to find Crash Bandicoot and get his gotcha item. You see, when you get close to him, you see he's dancing. So you press down on your D-pad, you dance too, and you need to copy his dance. There we go. Okay, I also realized, because we didn't really see the all the animations for some of the animal characters that we earned, Amaterasu has Isen with her, which is really cute. So if we go over here, you'll see Kiryu from Yakuza. And basically, if you punch him, he'll drop some of his items. You need to keep punching him until he drops everything. Oh my god, he has so many items. Oh my god, it just keeps going. That's pretty funny. Okay, now we need to go find Ryu and Ken. You see, they're fighting. So what you can do is, you, if you punch them, they'll attack. So if I stand between them and punch them both, I'll get hit by both of their attacks. Awesome. Okay, now we should have all the trophies except for the one for going to the top of the mothership. There we go. With that, that should be the Platinum as well. There we go! You've heard it, Astrobot. He's so cute, I love him. He really makes me think of, like, Kirby. How I imagine Kirby being, where he doesn't really talk, but he's very expressive. He should really be PlayStation's mascot. Plus, someone mentioned that if you think about the power scaling in this world, Astrobot may be, like, the strongest <laughs> One of the strongest PlayStation characters because he survived like being sucked into a black hole and he can like get other people's powers and stuff. There we go, there's Astrobot. So the next time we play this game will probably be after they do the new update. So again, they're gonna add VIP bots for Helldivers, Stellar Blade, among other games, and probably add a couple extra stages as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Froggy friends.